Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Endless Winter Frost Giant Frost King Collectibility Wave Black Adam. In honor of the, move, of the trailer dropping today, coming out I believe November it was. Can't wait, the trailer looks pretty cool. Not the best trailer I've ever seen, but still very exciting to see the movie does exist. Uh, so yeah, uh, in, in honor of the trailer dropping today, here is a review on Black Adam. So this is the first Black Adam figure from McFarlane Toys. Pretty exciting. Let's take a look at his accessories. Make sure you stay tuned to the end for some good comparisons. Here is the card. Looks pretty cool. like that there. And there's the backs. You want to read it? Pause it now. Real name, Teth, Teth Adam. Okay then. So yeah. I actually did pick up the Endless Winter um, graphic novel. Uh, I'm going to read it soon, but anyways, here is the electric effects, electricity, lightning bolts. So that's cool to see. I have not put it on him yet, but I don't know, I'm not really worried about that right now. Here is Black Adam. I'm trying to get this right. So there is the head sculpt there, and uh, I like it. I think it's a little bit on the emo side, especially with the eyes there uh, being a little, you know, darker. But uh, yeah, no, it looks good. I like the blue hair. You know, that looks nice as well. Um, but yeah, the face looks all right. Um, I love the the logo, the lightning bolt there because it has that blue in it, and I think they should have made that glow in the dark, to be honest with you. That would have been really cool. But I love the gold. It looks really cool. And you can see the nice gold around there. You can see these little gauntlets right there. That look nice as well. Yeah, I love that. And you can just see all the nice sculpting details on the suit, which looks really cool as well. I wish this was gold as well, but still. But yeah, really impressive figure here. I actually like him a lot. Um, this might be my favorite figure from the wave, to be quite honest, just because of how simple he is. Um, the other figures look amazing, though. You can see the buckle there. There's the the boots. But yeah, that looks, this looks awesome. I love this. Very articulated, too. Um, he does have quite a range of motion. Um... One thing, though, I do wish he had was, uh, like, um, a thigh cut, because I'm noticing it does tend to hinge out, and when you bend the knee, and, like, it turns in a completely different, <laughs> uh, direction, um, I don't know, I, I feel like a thigh cut would have been really nice to help this figure be a little bit better, like, make the articulation a little bit smoother, um, but other than that, I, the articulation's pretty solid. Um, the ball joints are tight and everything. They're not too big and, you know, they're kind of hidden too, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, let's do some comparisons. So, I got three different Black Adams here. Uh, I really like Black Adam. I think he has the potential to be a great character on, on the big screen. So, here is Black Adam next to the DC Icons, which is technically from the um, Forever Evil. And then here he is next to the DC Essentials, the one that can never fucking stand. Um, yeah, I, I really, because of the ball joints on this figure, I can, I can never get him to stand. And I have him on the base, but even the base doesn't have that much. But I still think he looks like a great figure, just, although very simple. But yeah, uh, these three look awesome. If I had to choose a favorite between the three, I think I'd go with the DC Icons. However, uh, I think this is still my favorite Black Adam figure I own, uh, which is the D DC Universe Classics. Um, yeah, I just love this figure so much. Uh, simple, effective, all that. But uh, yeah, there you go. Uh... There are some other Black Adam figures that I do own, but they are away in storage. 
Actually, I can only think of one, to be quite honest with you. But yeah, no, I, I really do like this figure. Um, I hope the movie's good. The trailer, I mean, it, it feels like it's holding back, so hopefully um, it's better than the trailer looks. But, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, buy your tickets to... T no. Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.